Hey guys, Brian and Aaron here from Five to Go, and we are coming to you today from somewhere in Indiana. Sure. Yeah, we're in Indiana. <laughs> I, the travel's weird. We have hooked up with some of our roadrunners, and uh, this particular couple bought a very interesting slash special RV. Yeah. Now, if you remember, almost two years ago, we went to Cruise America in Denver. Mm -hmm. um, not sponsored, not a partner, none of that. We just went and we just shot a video because we were kind of looking for a Class C at the time. And these guys found that video and last year they bought one of their RVs. This is the first time we've been able to see one that is post sale. Right. Gail and John are not full timers. No. Nope. So they're not in their rig quite as much as we are, but that's what we wanted this for. Kind of weekend trips, summer yeah. trips. Yeah, they've really done a nice job of making it feel open and bright and shiny, and they've made some modifications to kind of make it their own as well. Yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, talk to Gail and John and see what they think. All righty, we're here with Gail and John from the beautiful city of Indianapolis, and I love your shirts. <laughs> Yay! We love great shirts. Yay. We love them too. We do. Awesome. Thank you guys for joining us on our caravan. Yeah. And uh, I know we just have one morning together, but uh, we'll make the best of it. So yeah. Aaron had some questions for you guys about your beautiful new rig. Yeah, okay. So you guys made some modifications to the rig. What did you do first? Well, really, we put the awning on right when we had bought it. So that was that's, a that's personalized, true. that, that didn't actually true. come with it. Right. So that, I think, was a very nice added Yeah, we touch. love it. Because the Cruise America rental ones do not come with an awning because they are a thing that breaks very easily if you're not used to doing things um, with an RV. So that's always an add-on that you can put on. And then you guys, did you add some entertainment inside? Mm -hmm. Well, yes. <laughs> so when you have a rental, you know, it's, it, it's a uh, great rig. Um, and they did a great job with it. We refurbed it. We were very, very pleased uh, with it. But it was kind of a stripped down version, right? right? So we added a TV over the cab mm -hmm. and a TV in the back bedroom. Oh, nice. Yes, yes. we love it. That's yes. handy. That's definitely something we would need in the rig, because. <laughs> I think we need bigger TVs though. <laughs> well, I don't know if there's room for bigger TVs, but. Well, what is interesting is like in the back bedroom, it's only a 30 or 32 inch, mm -hmm. which you don't think is really, but it's a, a very yeah, small it looks room really big. and it yep. looks huge. Right. Yeah. You guys also have something that I absolutely love behind the sink. Yeah. What did you put back there? Well, we toyed around with the idea of a backsplash, but that's a lot of work. It and is. It's a permanent thing and we weren't sure we wanted to do that. And because we love family photos and because you guys showed your metal or your um, magnetic mm -hmm. pictures, which we love, so, so we need a little metal board. So we got a metal board put it up there. Love it. We may Perfect. add another one because we like it so much. It does look really, really nice. Yeah. And fine. then when Brian tried to move the the cook the, the uh, cutting board on top of your thing, how did you guys figure out how to do that? <laughs> we we just she did, did some online like we we've, we've looked at a lot of videos, a lot of videos of, from of, Brian and Aaron. Yeah, a lot of videos, <laughs> and we did a lot of research just from what people have used because it the um, cooktop would rattle when we yeah. drove, so we wanted something that would stop the rattle, and we wanted some more counter space. We don't have much counter space. And that seemed to do the trick. That thing does not budge, stays did, but. Did you add the rubber or did no, it come like came that? came like that. Mm. Amazon probably can find you the link. Hey, we we'll link that Amazon. below if you're interested. Because <laughs> um, it, it is, it's quite hefty yeah. and um, it just cuts down on all that stuff. And it didn't move. Like I tried my hardest to make that thing move and yeah. it wouldn't budge. But, it also doubles as a tray when we bring stuff out from, for meals. But you can actually just lift it right up. Yep. So it doesn't move. Side left side, and right, yep. but it just easily pulls yeah. up. It's like magic. It's yeah. really Does it really survive good. travel days? Totally. Yeah. It hasn't budged. It hasn't budged at all. We nice. don't move it. I really like the curtains in the Cruise America rigs because they are really flat up against the windows and they're just on a wooden kind of curtain rod and they have tie backs and everything, but they are, they stay really, really close to the wall and don't take up a lot of space. Correct. And they look really good. Did you guys keep those? We did keep those. We love that they're kind of like blackout because yeah. you know if you want to be able to sleep. Velcro on them. Velcro, almonds. they seal completely, total privacy. Don't love have to that. worry about that. And, and they're durable. Yeah. I was gonna say, it's a really durable fabric as well. And same yeah. thing with the, the cushions, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I like the, like and I like too. the pattern on them too. It's really because this was a rental rig that it was made to with stand a lot of people going in and out mm -hmm. so they're really well made yeah and super clean and really really nice like yeah. they do a nice job of 
taking them from rental to owning. Yeah. Um, and I really like it. And if you'll notice behind me too, when they get them ready to sell, they completely redo the outside. So they take off all of the beautiful pictures of America <laughs> and they put up this really nice, um, is it fiberglass? I guess. I believe so. Yeah. I think they clean they it real well, repaint, repaint and seal. Yeah. yeah, they reseal, repaint. They re -talk, seal, paint, and put up the original factory logo graphics. All right. And so at least from my end, I mean, it looks like it's brand new. Right. It does look like it's brand new. It's really, really nice. They even add the swoops on it, and they're yeah. not too many swoops. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So how many miles were on this when you bought it? I was 115,000. Okay. I would never have guessed north of 50,000 miles when I walked up to this thing. Yeah. It's spotless. Yeah. Have you had to use the warranty at all? Uh, well, we bought two warranties. One was the powertrain warranty. Mm -hmm. Make sure that the engine's gonna run right. We haven't had to use that at all. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the internal warranty, and I'm not sure exactly what house that's warranty, called, the house called? warranty. Yeah. We've actually used that three different times. So I know that that is like, oh, you use it three different times, but it worked really, really well. We've got our money's worth out of it. Mm -hmm. Cruise, oh, Cruise America picks a great company to go and work with. Um, and we've had zero problems getting anything fixed. And $100 we, deductible. $100 That's deductible. That's out of our pocket. That's and nothing. Yeah. Oh my we have used it three different times. Everything was several hundred dollars each, where I think our, our three repairs that we've had has been over $2,000. Oh, so and we paid we, yeah, $300. So on. it more than paid for it. So we had a so. little electrical problem with the light, the dome light in the cab, mm -hmm. which turned it turned into a thing because they had to chase down the source of it. Oh, so goodness. that became more of a thing. Yep. Then our refrigerator had to have the cooling unit replaced, which we were kidding about the fact that these are rental units. I'm sure nobody took the time to level it ever. So those Dometic fridges, if you don't have them leveled, they don't work. So right. that Over had there. to be replaced. Yep. 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 What was the other thing? Oh, the generator. Yeah. The, the generator, generator had a little piece that there was a off. little, yeah, it just like broke off in it mm -hmm. and it stopped it it uh, working. Run. They went in there. You know, within a day, they just got yeah. it fixed. So we're a big, big fan of it. I know that you'll hear pros and cons, and people oh, yeah. <laughs> don't want them. And and we've we've heard all those horror stories as well. Um, but at least for us and the company that Cruise America uses, it has been top notch. We're and for real us, because we were brand new. Yeah, we didn't know what we were doing. We right. said we probably want a warranty case. We screw something up. And, right. <laughs> and so we've got a five-year warranty. We don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. And being the newbies that we are. It's just very nice that we can just take that off our plate. So the service that you had done on the things that you had to get fixed, right. did you get that done locally or did you have to go somewhere that Cruise America told you to go? No, I can go wherever I would want to uh, go. Um, you just have to, they, wherever we have it fixed, they have to call ahead and get it approved, Okay. Um, which was zero problems. They were, yep. um, as a matter of fact, the last place that we went, he was a little sketchy about the whole thing because he's like, I've had a lot of issues with these. I'm not sure. He said, um, maybe you can pay me and then they'll reimburse you. But he made the call and he said, well, they're very easy to go and deal with. That's good. Um, I'll just go ahead and bill them. Perfect. So that worked out. they are just super great. You guys aren't full timing right now. No. Right. And so you bought this to do kind of like weekend trips mm -hmm. and yeah. like weekend short orders. vacations. Yeah, so family. we have six, yeah, family. We want to make some memories. We have six yeah. little grandkids, so we want to do this now. And this works really well, especially for being new. It's enough yep. for us to handle. Yep. And it's worked out well. We can actually sleep seven. We actually have two sleeping in there right now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of fun. Yeah. And um, eventually, we think we would like to try a couple of years, you know, get in an RV and go. But we probably would move up to something a little bit bigger. That was going to be my next question. Do you yeah. think you could full-time in this? Or do you think you'd need something with slides or a little more length? or? Well, I'm not a little person yeah and this does not have slides so it's great we love it but no we would need to go a little bigger if we were gonna full-time in it yes I love it I think Thank it's beautiful you. so we too. We're and we happy. named it did you know we yes. named oh, it? what's its name his name is Harvey the RV Harvey the RV. <laughs> with our, with our, our personalized plate, plate if, 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 if you want to get a, well, a we'll shot we'll get a of picture of that. Harvey I'm, the uh, RV, yes. Harvey oh the RV. my goodness. <laughs> so our grandkids say, let's go and see Harvey. I love that. Yeah, it's fun. Thank you guys so much for letting Thank us come you. and check out your rig early this morning. We Thank appreciate you. that. 
and we're so glad that you were able to meet us on the Roadrunner Tour too. today. And hopefully we'll see you again yes. down the road. Yes. By the time this video comes out, we will be done with our summer caravan, but we have more in the works. And if you'd like to join one of those future caravans, you can check out 5 togocom slash Roadrunners and see if you want to be part of this as well. Maybe we can do a tour of your rig. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Bye.